Ruby Eagles. We hope you're having a totally tubular Friday. And a stellar Hoco week. Tanner, what's been your favorite theme this week? I thought that Friday was pretty funky fresh with the color wars. What about you? Gnarly. My fave was probably Squad Day. It was totally wicked. That's radical, man. Now it's time to hear the skinny from Daniel and Devotionals. Let's hear it, homeboy. Thank you, Allie. And hey, I'm Daniel. And I'm Addison. Welcome to this week's Devotions. Since it is homecoming, we're going to be talking about somebody coming home. The story of the prodigal son. This story can be found in Luke chapter 15. In this story, the prodigal son asks his father for his share of the money and then leaves. This was very rude when the son asked his father for his share of the money because back then, the son didn't normally get his share of the money until his father had died. Right. So the son goes off and squanders all of the money. And then a famine hits and he has no food. As he is feeding pigs to try to survive, he decides to go home to his father and ask to be a servant for him. But when the father sees the son, he rejoices and welcomes him home. Right. In Luke 15, 17, the father says, For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. So the lesson of the story is that God will always welcome us home, no matter how far away we run from him. And with that, we hope that you have a great homecoming week. Hello, I'm Adam, and uh, welcome to Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that the fear of hurricanes and tornadoes is lilisapsophobia? I mean, that kind of sounds like something to do with liliacs, but I guess not. Who'd be scared of liliacs anyway? And wow, this week will be really cold, with Saturday and Sunday in the upper 70s, but the rest of the week will be in the high 50s and lower 60s. So bundle up and watch some Eagle TV, why don't you? There's a hurricane happening named Hurricane Tammy, but did you know that hurricanes are known by different names in different parts of the world? So I guess in some random place in North Canada, they call this hurricane Hurricane Billy. It seems kind of weird to think about. Like, if you're in a conversation with someone about hurricanes and one not knowing what the other one's talking about, about the hurricanes, because they're different names. Anyway, weird. Hmm. But anyway, enough about hurricanes. I'm Adam, and this has been Fun Fact Friday. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Lily, and we're your Eagle TV directors. This week, HCA's theater department went to Billy Ryan High School in Denton, Texas to compete in the TAPS one-act play competition. Yes, we did. We performed a play called This is a Test. HCA was one of seven schools who competed. We went to competition, and as the saying goes, we broke a leg and came home with third place. And here is the newest addition to the trophy case. That's crazy. Like. Okay, so what is the play actually about, though? Well, why would I tell you when you can actually see it yourself? The HCA Theater Department has a public performance on November 2nd, here at the school. It is completely free to get in, so come and see This is a Test. Oh, I'm definitely going to be there, so make sure you go and check it out, and we'll see you there. Hey, everyone, this is HCA News. And we're going to start off the show with food, because why not? We have a Mission HCA Chili Cook-Off on Monday. And continuing with our field trips on Monday, second grade is going to the Dallas Arbitorium. Also going to the Dallas Arbitorium is K-5, and they are going on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, the craft and sculpture class is going to Gideon's Gallery. On Friday, elementary has dress as your favorite book character. Hey, we should do something special for that. That's a great idea. Back to the segment, on Thursday is a one-act play performance. That's it for your today news. Have a great week. That's the way I like it. I like it. Were y'all watching that? Well, that's embarrassing, but I guess we should start No One Else. What's up and welcome back to No One Else, the show where only No One Else what segment we're doing today. The reason I'm in this 70s mood is because it's Decade Day at HCA Homecoming. Everyone is dressed up like a different decade, and I'm curious to see which one everybody is. So let's go see what HCA is dressed up as today. 80s. 50s. 60s. 1860s. 70s. 90s. 80s! Alive? How does this keep happening? Alright, so as you can see, I'm in 70s theme. And guys, that's all I have for this week, and I'm out. Because I gotta go to the disco. That No One Knows segment was bad to the bone. Yeah, definitely good vibes. Speaking of good vibes, the Lady Eagles are going to the playoffs tonight. Really? What time? I'll leave it to my homeboy Robbie to give you the lowdown. Right on. Catch you Eagles on the flip side. Hey everyone, I'm Robbie back with High School Sports. Let's start with the football team who played against the Greenville Christian Eagles on Saturday, October 21st. 
The game was a battle of the Eagles, and the better Eagles won as our HCA boys won the game 72-66, to making their record on the season 5-3. Winning against Greenville also sends the team to the playoffs this year. Now on to the volleyball. Last week, the Lady Eagles played against Poetry Christian on senior night. The JV won in two sets and the varsity won in four sets. Today, the, e the Lady Eagles are playing against Austin Waldorf for the first round of the playoffs. That's all for this week. Now on to middle school sports. Hello, I'm Adam. Hi, I'm Caden. And since this is episode 102, it's time for some new beginnings. Uh, what does that mean? That's for you to decide and for them to decide. Okay, first of all, who is them? Adam, I just pointed out the camera, but in case you didn't get it, I'm going to do it again. Them in there. Oh, right. Sorry, y'all in there. Anyway, sorry for the long start, but let's get right into football. A couple of days ago, they played Greenville Christian in, you better not, Greenville, Texas. The football team has a special homecoming game at 7 p.m., so show that Eagle spirit and be there. Moving across, no, volleyball. The Lady Eagles, wait, they aren't playing any games either. So what is happening? Well, basketball season is starting, and that means that we, or you, get to have some more content for middle school sports. Hmm. Well, that was mysterious, but I'm Adam. And I'm Caden, and this has been... Okay, what do you mean by new beginnings? <laughs> this has been Middle School Sports. Hey y'all, it's Miss Wynn. Annabelle, I'm Miss Wynn. Fine, I'm Annabelle. And I'm Leona. Okay, now let's start this. Let's hear from some HGA students. Hey guys, today I'm with Kara. What's one thing you've been looking forward to? I've been looking forward to homecoming week all year. The color line. Um, the way the Thank you. What have you been looking forward to? Our November cruise, duh. Oh yeah, I've been counting down the days trying to push through and try my best. That goes perfectly with our topic today. Yes, it does. So, say you have something fun that you're looking forward to. You should count down the days and push through the, all the hard ones. And you should try your hardest to make good grades and do good in sports so that when your fun thing comes, then it's like a reward. Absolutely. That's it for today, and always make sure to encourage others. Peace out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Weird But True. Did you know that in Australia, scientists invented swimsuits for turtles? That's really cool, but also really unnecessary because turtles, like, live in the water. But it's okay. The wacky word for this week is chronometrophobia. Chronometrophobia is the fear of watches. Now, that could be problematic because then you might never know the time unless you do have an analog clock. So I guess it is a solvable problem. Well, that's all that I have for this week, and always remember to stay weird. Well, hey there. Welcome back to Dad Jokes. I'm Dad, and, I'm not. and you're not. This is Jordan Foster, who is one of our directors this year in their third-plus year of broadcast. We're happy that you're here and happy that you helped pull our show together for us. Did you bring jokes? I did. Are they good jokes? Possibly. Are they going to make me laugh? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do I need to ask why you're wearing a purple wig? Uh, yeah, it's homecoming week. Yes. We had a color war this Friday. Okay. And each grade level, right, was yes. it color? Yes. Our junior year, junior class was yes. purple. Clearly. That'd be <laughs> pretty awful if you're a junior and it wasn't purple. You just chose to wear purple yep. today. All right. You're up first. Go. Okay. So I'm going to start out with a past birthday one. Since okay. Since my birthday was it, a couple weeks ago. It was. The 17th, right? The fourth. <laughs> the fourth. The fourth, the 17th. Is there any difference? I say not. Go ahead. Close enough. So, I was given this gift and I got a fridge, like a refrigerator. Nice. And my face just lit up whenever I opened it. Because there's a light. Yeah. In the That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I kind of like that. So, you know my youngest daughter, Maddie, right? Yes. People are familiar with Maddie. When she was much younger, she came and she wanted to ask me, Dad, why do bees hum? I thought that was a good question. Why do bees hum? I replied, because they don't know the words. Don't, yeah. you know, if bees don't it. speak yeah. English, no way. They sp speak bee. Yeah. They got no laugh they from our audience. Bee? They speak bee. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> okay, please, get us out of here. So I think, as a job, I would be a really good waitress. Right? Like a waitress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because sure. I bring a lot to the table. You're actually, you said these weren't good. That was really good. Uh, 
You don't think so? No. I thought it was great. I did like that one. So um, we're going to stay with Maddie because, you know, Maddie's full of the funny. Yes. So when Maddie was pretty young, she woke up crying in the night. And she clearly was having a, a nightmare. She said that she had drowned in a sea of orange soda. I know. It's an odd dream. It is, but thankfully it was just a fantasy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, they got a little laugh back there. It's a little bit out of you, so that must have been a good joke. It, you know, fantasy. Yeah. Fantasy, orange fantasy. Yeah. I thought it was good. Okay. Here. Okay, I'm going to end with my last one. Oh, you've got the last one. No. Like oh, you're going to let me one. have one more? Yes. Thank you so I'm gonna much. I'm going to end with my last one. Okay, good. So this is going to be a Halloween one since it's coming up. Yes. You know, if you boil a funny bone, you just get a laughing stock. See, these are really <laughs> good. I get that stock, chicken sock. You put yep. chicken bones in there and you boil it. That is good. Okay. I don't have a Halloween joke, um, but n no surprise, I have another Maddie, Maddie joke. Maddie joke. Yes, so <laughs> a few months ago... Maddie and I went to dinner, and when he walked in, the hostess said, did you have a reservation? And to which Maddie replied, nope, I'm 100% confident I want to eat here. Do you have reservations? Yeah. You're reserved. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. <laughs> wow, it's really bad when I have to feel like I should explain them. We need, like, the laugh track in the back. <laughs> we, yeah, because clearly our studio audience didn't provide us any laugh track. Hey, I got a laugh. You did get a laugh. I got nothing. So I will end it right there while I still have some self-pride. All right. We'll see you guys next time and uh, have a great weekend. Jordan, thank you very much. appreciate it. Well, that concludes this week's Bomb Diggity episode. I can't wait to see everyone go bananas at the homecoming boogie. Yeah, I'm hype. Me and my posse are going to look fly. Do me a song and get your groove on. Homecoming is going to be totally radical. Yo, mama's totally radical. In your face. Well, that's all from us, Eagles. Peace and love. And rock on.